Don't ever get so unhumble that you think, you know, that you're self-educated, okay? We came into this world ignorant, knowing nothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you came out, what did you know? Nothing. Nothing. I know nothing. As we grow, we gain knowledge. And we gain that from many, many different places, right, as we pass through the world. But true understanding and wisdom come only from being born again and learning from the Word. Mm -hmm. Listen to this, uh, John 8, 31, right? So Jesus was saying to those Jews who had believed in him, if you abide in my word, then you're truly my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. The alternative is to learn from the world, which John says in 1 John 5, 19, is in the power of the evil one. And that evil one is by nature a liar and the father of lies. So that will give you wisdom. Earthly, natural, and demonic. That's exactly what James says. He says this wisdom is, talking about that, that comes from, the, from Satan, is not that which comes down from above, but is, as Mark just said, earthly, natural, and demonic. James 3.15. Mm -hmm. So just, just remember, as we talk about education, this one little bit of history. And remember, don't lose sight of the fact that that word that we're studying is history. His story. Well, it's his story, mm -hmm. and it's history. Right. So shame on all of you people in the public education system who are teaching history without ever telling his story. Mm -hmm. that's, that's between you and him. Deal with it. It says in John chapter 7, I'm going to start reading at verse 14. But when it was now in the midst of the feast, Jesus went up into the temple and began to teach. The Jews were astonished, saying, How has this man become learned, having never been educated? So Jesus answered them and said, My teaching is not mine, but his who sent me. John seven fourteen to 16. That's where education comes from. It's from the Holy Spirit. Oh, yeah, you can get it. You, can, you should know that what's, you know, things like math and English and all those things you learn but they're always filtered through the Spirit. Mm. Because the things of God are spiritually appraised, Paul wrote to the Corinthians, and we are to appraise all things spiritually. Yes. Okay? So if Jesus, they, they were astounded by his, his knowledge, his, his wisdom, because he wasn't trained up as a rabbi. Mm. He, he didn't study under the rabbis. Okay? Um. Where'd you go to school? Where, where do you get your learning? The answer had better be the from the Holy Spirit, because it was the Holy Spirit who was sent to lead us Thank into you. all truth. truth. Amen. If you're not hearing from the Holy Spirit, there's a grand possibility you are learning a lie. And by the way, a half a truth can be a whole lie. Mm -hmm. So you can learn things that appear true, but if, it does, if it's not complete, with the Word of God, the wisdom of God, the understanding that comes from the Word of God, that, that truth that you know can be a lie. The unfortunate fact is that the religious leaders of the Jews and many Christian teachers uh, after them have chosen to educate people in the world's ways. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a fact. Oftentimes, the curriculum that comes dressed in religious robes is called tradition. Jesus said to a group of Pharisees and scribes, who were the teachers and preachers of their day, he said, you hypocrites, rightly did Isaiah prophesy of you, this people honors me with their lips, but their heart is far away from me. But in vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrines the precepts of men. Mm -hmm. Matthew 15, 7 through 9. Right? Yes. How do you, how do you distinguish? Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit. Spirit. It's got to be the Holy Spirit. The Sermon on the Mount, that's, I'm going to be talking about the one recorded in the Gospel of Matthew from chapter 5 to verse, chapter 7. That's Jesus' initial teaching to his disciples, his apostles, mm -hmm. preparing them. That was the foundation. Absolutely. Preparing them for their place in the world as his ambassadors mm -hmm. 
by training them in righteousness. That's what, what Paul wrote to Timothy in 2 Timothy chapter 3, where he says, all scripture is God-breathed and profitable to, for teaching. It's profitable. It'll train you in righteousness. Yes, you are made righteous by the atoning work of Jesus Christ. You need to learn to live that righteousness by being trained by the word, okay? Educated by the word.